Isn't that Skinny's daughter? Skimpy? It is indeed, she will be two in about three months' time. Her mum Skinny is super small and slim, and she does not have big jugs either. Yet she has managed to raise a big and healthy girl like Skimpy. You'd better take note, Tina. Speak of the devil, there's her mum Skinny. Where are you going, girl? Are they waiting for something? This is a good spot to catch for some goodies as there are hardly any other monkeys around. Here we go. Skinny is really low ranking, though not at dirt bottom like Tina, she still needs to be on guard at all times. Getting goodies like this is usually the privilege of high ranking members in a troop. Others are coming, she'd better leave if she doesn't want to get hurt. She has done well this time. Had she been hanging around with them over them she would not even have had a chance to stay on the road. This is one high-ranking family. An ash will be one in three weeks time. Even at this young age, he knows he's somebody. Another casual feeder, and there's Artini with her mum Tina. She should count it lucky that there's still some banana peel left for her.
She's just super tiny when you put her against Sophia's kids. She's definitely smaller than her brother Tiny was at around the same age. When she has goodies, she runs on seeing her mum Tina. And Tina is doing it again. She gave Tina a break when her lil arm was swollen but now she's back to her normal self again. I think her craze for food is partially driven by her pregnancy as well. She's cleared her pouches completely. We are back to square one again. Except Teeny has gained a bit more weight and has corrected most of her abnormal gait but she still falls far below the median centile. Tini can't even be bothered to suckle, there's either nothing there or the quality is too poor to worth the effort at all. Another car has just gone past with goodies, and Tina had instinctively taken Tini back into the trees to stay away from the feeding frenzy. She does scores 10 out of 10 for protecting her babies.
A wild boar again. Tina is not going to like it. Where is Teeny? Look, she's there already with Teeny in the blink of an eye. She always watches out for Teeny. Is she shampooing Teeny there with her spit? The moment she lets go of Teeny, that little girl would come dashing off back to the road, presumably to look for food. Tina has to come back to keep an eye on her too. There's Tina, and there's our little girl. She really is a little bundle of energy, covering all that distance by herself. I am not sure why Tina has suddenly become so obsessed with that particular part of her scalp there. Did Tina catch something unpleasant there? Perhaps some kind of excreta?
To be honest, I don't think Teeny is energy starved any longer. She is nutrient starved now, in particular she is missing certain important amino acids, fatty acids and minerals that she should have received in her milk earlier in life. Those substances are important to kickstart her growth spurt. Soybeans, in constant supply should deal with that problem. The question is how to get them into her, considering how greedy and ruthless her sister, Trina, and mum Tina are when it comes to food. I have never seen any rhesus females like them before. Whatever Teeny finds she will take it from her. Her gait abnormality has now been dealt with. But clearly she needs more than just my weekly, or at most twice weekly supplements to kickstart her growth spurt. She needs to grow bigger to defend herself before the next lil one arrives. It's time to call for help. 